You're watching the construction of the flying machine. Uh, we're in the part of the rocket build where we're going to put the tube coupler together. Um, first, I want to mark the middle of the tube, and you don't have to be exact, but it's uh, it's a it's a two-inch coupler or a four-inch length coupler, so the middle is two inches. If you eyeball it, it's probably going to be just fine. Um, then we're going to take this bulkhead here. And I want to punch out this little hole, just like that. Um, and that's going to get glued in here, but I want to install the um, screw eye first. So you'll put the screw eye in, then back it out, and then put glue on the threads. And then when you put it back in, don't thread it past the threads on the shank of the screw eye. You want threads on both sides because that's what keeps it in. And then just spread that glue around. And then I'll put some more glue on this side. Looks messy now, but that's going to be fine. Um, take the, the remainder of the glue and just put it on the inside of this coupler right at the end. Smear it around on the inside. And if you have any extra, you can put it on the outside of there. You don't need much on the outside because it's going to all get scraped off here in just a second. going to slide that in here like that and because of the weight of the screw eye it's going to want to sag like that so you got to watch it so it's going to take a couple of minutes for that glue to catch and uh, after it catches then we're going to go ahead and put a fillet around so I'm just going to hold this like this for a couple of minutes while that glue catches before I put my fillet on. Because once you put the fillet on, it's going to lubricate it and it's going to make it want to flop around even more. So you got to let it catch for a couple of minutes before you put the fillet of glue around. And we're going to want to put it on the, ins on the outside and on the inside. So I'll be right back in just a second. Did you miss me? <laughs> okay, so it's dried enough to where it's not moving around on me. So then I just want to put a fillet of glue here on the outside, smear it around, make sure that it's especially up into that corner. This is a structural joint, which means that if it fails, the rocket's going to come down in two separate parts. So I want to make sure that it's really strong. And then I'm just going to drip it down in the bottom. Try not to get too much. I don't know if you can see that in there. But then I'm going to take a wood dowel and then spread it around. Again, make sure I get it up into that corner. I probably got way too much in there. Alright. So, um, Next, I want to glue this into one of the body tubes. So here's the body tube that I haven't glued anything into yet. And that's going to get glued halfway in, which is why we put that mark there before. So I'm going to put some glue on the inside of this. Spread it around. And then put the remainder on the outside of this, just on the on the front. You don't have to put it all the way down because it's going to spread around as it goes in. And now you got to do this quick because the glue, as it's drying, gets really tacky. So I want to find my mark there. 
and then do it in one quick motion. Oh boy, that was good. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get it halfway in and you'll catch. Um, this one, this part, when you do this, using a lot of glue on the inside actually helps because it kind of lubricates it, kind of makes it slide easier. So any glue on the outside is just going to wipe off. And we're just going to let this sit and dry. And we'll continue with the next step. So you're watching the flying machine construction. I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Uh, may the winds be light and may the skies be blue. And may all your rockets fly straight and true.